Hello, I'm Lillian and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're we'll making a moist, rich and very addicting carrot cake. So now let's get started. Into a large bowl, we'll be adding 3 cups of flour, 2 teaspoon baking soda, 2 teaspoon baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon cinnamon powder, a half teaspoon nutmeg powder and we'll be mixing all together with a wix and at the same time we'll be aerating the flour as we mix now we'll go ahead and preheat the oven to about 350 degrees fahrenheit or 175 degrees celsius into another large bowl we'll add three extra large eggs half cup white sugar three quarter of a cup of brown sugar and 300 ml plain vegetable oil you can make use of all white sugar or all brown sugar if that's what you have available in your pantry. We'll gradually add in the flour mixture and mix until well combined. I like to add in about 100 ml of milk to thin out the butter to this consistency. But if you don't want that, you can make use of 4 to 5 eggs instead of the 3 that I used. Now it's time to add the grated carrots. I'm using about 4 cups, that's about 5 to 6 large carrots. You can use less if you want to, but we love it this way in my home. That's why it's called a carrot cake, right? <laughs> We'll also be adding in a half cup raisins and one third of a cup crushed almond nuts. But feel free to leave this out if you don't like raisins or nuts or prefer to use other kinds of nuts. So now that our carrot cake batter is ready, we'll pour it into a lined baking pan and bake in our preheated oven for 30 to 45 minutes or even more, depending on the kind of cake pan you're using. You will know the cake is ready when you dip a toothpick into it and it comes out clean. While we we'll let the cake cook completely, we'll prepare the cream cheese frosting. For the cream cheese frosting, we'll add about 90 grams room temperature butter and 90 grams cream cheese and wix until creamy. And then we'll gradually add in about 250 grams icing sugar and wix until smooth. And finally, we add a teaspoon vanilla essence and wix until combined. Pour the frosting over the cold cake and let it set in a cold place for 10 minutes before slicing. And here you have it guys, this rich and moist carrot cake recipe is a no fill and I can't wait for you to try it. Thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend and also subscribe, it to mean a lot to me, I truly appreciate. See you in the next video and God bless, bye.